Well, fellow remote pilot, how about you and I talk about flying your drone at night? Well, you know, some of the most beautiful cinematography can be captured at night. And some operations are even enhanced by night operations, such as locating infrared heat sources like these fellows right here. But flying our drones at night requires that you and I know about the risks, hazards, and gotchas that can turn a pleasant night flying experience into a nightmare. So let's start off by defining just what night is. Now this may sound simple enough, but when do you know it's officially night? For our purposes, it's defined in all the states except Alaska as the time between the end of civil twilight and the beginning of morning civil twilight. So the question becomes, just when is civil twilight? Well, in the evening, civil twilight begins right after sunset and it ends 30 minutes after sunset. At that point, it's officially nighttime. Now, nighttime ends when morning civil twilight begins, which by the same measure is 30 minutes before sunrise. So morning civil twilight ends at sunrise, but for regulations that refer to night, nighttime has already ended 30 minutes before the sun comes up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can't use these rules to determine nighttime in Alaska, and that's because of the high latitude and long twilight periods in that state. Now, if you're operating in Alaska, you have to use tables found in the Federal Air Almanac to determine the period of civil twilight at various latitudes and dates. Now, to easily find those tables, just do an internet search for Federal Air Almanac civil twilight. 